Hey, what is going on guys? We have the 68th Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Battle. I'm using a different character. I'm using Derpke's account, so it's going to be a brand new team. Not exactly brand new, but it's going to be a huge change in difference. Refreshing change. I like to keep it fresh for you guys, after all. These battles are, well, I try to keep them daily, but yeah. I gotta keep them fresh, right? I have the Mew, it's a great uh, entry hazard. I have the Chinchino, the Umbreon, the Crobat, the Lantern, and Genesect. My opponent has Sceptile, Aegislash, Clefki, Gyarados, Pichu, and uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, I can't. I'm having a brain freeze right now, but we will get right into this battle. If you guys haven't noticed, I have. A team composed of a lot of U-Turners and Volt Switchers, including this Mew. This Mew has U-Turn. So he's gonna lead off with Pichu, Shiny Pichu named DLC, which makes me wonder, is this Pichu, was this Pichu ever an event Pichu? Regardless, I'm gonna go for the Fake Out, and I do get a nice critical hit and it does take him to a Sash. That's the whole point of having Mew Fake Out, to just break Sashes. And uh, he actually goes for his own fake out, but it doesn't quite work because I already went for my fake out. So it only works if it's the very first attack. And uh, naturally, I do set up my rocks, and I do get a nice free kill on this PQ. So that's pretty sweet. You know, this PQ only has one HP left. I only set up rocks, so naturally, my opponent can't switch out. Now I'm gonna go into Crobat, another U-Turner. And uh, he does have switch priority, and here comes the Clef Key now. Now I know for a fucking fact. He's gonna go for the Thunder Wave. Maybe not Swagger, you know, Swagger is banned and all, but definitely uh, Thunder Wave. Just because Klefki runs Thunder Wave. And uh, I do switch into my Lantern. But now I think about it, I really should have just switched into my Mew or even my Umbreon so that this Klefki can get synchronized and get paralyzed too. Regardless, turns out he uh, breaks uh, the you know the OU rules and does go in fact go for the swagger again it's nice to see swagger hey I'm not complaining okay last battle I just fought a Blaziken and now I'm fighting swagger uh, Klefki and nothing wrong with that honestly nothing wrong with that I don't mind fighting against uh, banned Pokemon or banned moves he has heal block which is pretty interesting but uh, I'm just lantern I'm just a humble lantern and I just want to land some attacks more importantly, I want to land my Volt Switch because I know one Volt Switch can't kill him and he's kicking my ass and then knowing me, Repel Games, I hit myself in Confusion every fucking time but luckily this turn, the third turn in Confusion, I finally land my Volt Switch and look at that, holy shit, that makes me think this Clef Key is physically defensive, not specially defensive. So I'm gonna go into Umbreon now. Um, you know, nothing really wants to take a foul play except for Umbreon so yeah, my best bet is Umbreon. My opponent knows better than to go for a Thunder Wave now, just because, you know, I'm Umbreon. And not to mention, I have Lantern chilling in the back waiting to get, uh, you know, a, a, a Electric Absorbed. Bolt Absorbed. But here, I really thought that maybe he would actually just uh, go for Thunder Wave, you know? And I could get a free heal, but of course he does have Heal Block. And what is funny about Heal Block is he actually prevents me from passing my wish onto Lantern, so unfortunately I do not pass my wish. And uh, yeah, my opponent is not a noob, guys. He knows not to go for Thunder Wave. Of course he does, man. <laughs> and uh, yes, I do hit myself in Confusion, which kind of sucks because had I not hit myself in Confusion, I'm pretty sure one Thunderbolt from this range could have killed Klefki, but he has sold my plans and I have to go into Genesect now. Genesect and Umbreon is the only people that, well, can't, you know, take foul play too, you know, that badly, but it still does quite a good amount. Now, here comes the Thunder Web, okay? It's very obvious, I'm Genesect, I'm Choice Scarf Genesect. Who doesn't want to paralyze the Genesect? But, he has, he goes for Swagger, so again, I counter predicted, I over predicted. I really should have just stayed in with my Genesect, and just went for a Flamethrower, and that'll, you know, hopefully I don't hit myself, but. Yeah, this Klefki, um, you know, landed the Swagger, and I don't want to hit myself and kill myself, so. I have to go back into Genesec and take another foul play. Okay, I'm sorry to my viewers that um, this is quite of a hectic and annoying and tedious battle with Klefki, but this is Klefki and it's using uh, Parafusion, Swagger, and Thunder Wave combo. So you gotta be really careful 
Now here comes my confusion, but I actually break through out of it and I land my uh, plus two attack. Is it plus one? I think it's plus one special attack flamethrower. So even if this Klefki was carrying a berry, it will not affect my flamethrower. Now here comes the Aegis Slash. Really strange because obviously um, he actually might be able to kill me with a Shadow Sneak. You know, I just revealed that flamethrower, so it's really ballsy of my opponent to go into Aegis Slash. So expecting the Shadow Sneak actually went to Chinchino, but turns out he actually went for Swords. I'm, I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I just had a plus one special attack, right? Even if it's Aegis Slash Shield, I don't think Aegis Slash Shield can possibly take a flamethrower. Just coming from Genesec. Gen Genesec has massive attack. So, I, um, you know, knowing that he went for Sword Dance, I really don't want to switch out to anything, really. Um, so my best bet is actually just stay in and hopefully I can get a flinch. But as you'll see, he does uh, change his stance. But actually, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, turns out... My opponent can change stances while, you know, being flinched. And, uh, you know, I really thought the King Shield was very obvious. I don't want to get my attack dropped or anything. Not that it really matters because now I think about it, uh, Bullet Seed is uh, a ranged attack. So it doesn't actually do, it doesn't actually work. And look at that. Holy shit. King, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, Rock Blast is doing quite a fucking a lot of damage to Aegis Slash uh, Blade. So again, my opponent does not go back to King Shield. Really strange. But, um, you know, I don't get that flinch, which is, you know, my fault, really. And I'm just gonna go to Umbreon now. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, for sure, King Shield is coming. Like, for fucking sure. So, you know, instead of getting my attack dropped, I'm just gonna go for Protect. But he actually keeps staying in. You know, it's really rare to seek um, an Aegis Slash never using King Shield. And he does stay in, and that actually just lets me finish off this Aegis Slash. So... Yeah, I'm just I'm just so confused yet at the same time. Like, alright, hey man, I'll take it, okay? <laughs> if you want to just, you know, sacrifice your Aegis Slash, so that be my be my guess, man. And uh, he actually sends out the Gyarados, and um, surprisingly he goes for the Dragon Dance. Again, I just revealed that I have foul play. You know, um, if you guys don't know what foul play does, it's basically it's an attack that uses my opponent's uh, physical attack. So you know, this Gyarados just went for a Dragon Dance, it went for the Earthquake, uh, it doesn't do that much, but not, not more importantly, this Foul Play is going to do a huge ton because I'm using Gyarados as new attack. And that just completely one-shots Gyarados, and I am fully healed back to full, so, you know, Umbreon's doing all kinds of work, so that's pretty sweet. But that Aegis Lash just really threw me off. Now here comes the Sceptile again, I'm just going to go for a Potec just to scout what he's going to do. You know, some Sceptiles do have Focus Blast. But um, turns out he just goes for a Leaf Storm. I'm just thinking, I don't think one Leaf Storm can kill me. And at this point, my opponent has given up. He only has two Pokemon left. I believe the um, Sceptile and that other Pokemon that's Grass and Ghost type. I can't fucking remember his name. If you guys know its name, just please leave it in the comment section. I know like all my Pokemon, honestly, but it's just, it's just a tiring day. I'm sorry. But anyways, that was an amazing battle. Thank you, Dimitri. Um, that was a great battle. <laughs> Yeah, so give a huge thumbs up for Umbreon, man, eating up all those attacks. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please feel free to do, do so. As always, have an awesome day.